Hey everyone, before we get into the MPD news today, which is really exciting stuff, uh, I want to remind you to enter our Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition giveaway. All you have to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. It gets you one entry, and then if you do that... On if you do this on every single video in the month of May, you will get an additional entry on every video. You can also join our Discord server down in the description below. Doing that will get you an additional entry into the giveaway as well. Winner will be announced at the end of the month. Hey everyone, we get to look at some sales data. This is our once per month video that happens every time the MPD comes out if there's anything exciting to actually talk about. And the month of April is... Uh, Really boding well for the video game industry in 2020. Uh, all of this information comes from Matt Piscatella, who works for the MPD Group and is their video game uh, sales analyst. So, you know, this is literally the most accurate information there can be. Now, to note or to date or to really state something here, uh, the MPD does not give out exact sales figures anymore. It used to a long time ago, and you can extrapolate certain sales data at times uh, for individual games and platforms uh, by just looking at growth compared to prior periods, going back to when they used to release numbers. Uh, but we're not here to give you any exact numbers, but we are here to give you uh, some details, at least on the sales, that are <laughs> just mind-blowing. And we're going to cover more than just Nintendo here, uh, but it, the, the, the Switch is killing. It. let's just put it that way you've seen the headline uh so uh spending in april uh was up to 1.5 billion dollars in the industry and this is in, just in the u.s uh area essentially north america uh 384 million was spent on hardware 662 million on software and 420 million on accessories and game cards and of note this doesn't include you know, mobile phone sales or downloadable content or any digitally purchased goods from places like the eShop or, you know, the Xbox and PlayStation stores, etc. cetera, uh, because the MPD doesn't track that data. Uh, so it's probably much, much higher than that if you are able to include that data into the mix. Um, this is the highest grossing month in the history of video games in the U.S. for the month of April. So just looking at the month of April for the entire tracked history of the United States in terms of games, game sales, and, and, and money this is the highest month ever uh the previous highest uh april in history uh was back in 2008 uh where it reached 1.2 billion dollars in spending but folks we're about to get even more exciting than this. The Nintendo Switch. Yes, folks, this little engine that could, this system that's entering its fourth year on the market. The Nintendo Switch has reached a new year to date, so first four month period, um, dollar sales record. To put this in perspective, this means the Switch is essentially the best selling system in terms of dollar sales in the history of video games for a four month beginning of year tracked period. Um, it beat the high previously set by Nintendo Wii in 2009. So there is not a single video game platform that's ever made more money than Nintendo Switch in terms of, you know, the dollar amount made on the system sold, you know, so that $300, $200, you know, for the light, you know, the total money that, that you make off selling the system has not uh, been exceeded by any platform in video game history for the first four months of the year. Essentially, Nintendo Switch is peaking right now. This is the peak year of Switch. 2009 was the peak year for Wii. 2020 is now the peak year for Switch, happening in the middle of a pandemic and everything. Absolutely insane. And I, I it's hard for me to even believe what I'm seeing um, from Matt Piscatella here. I, I'm just shocked. And shockwaves are about to come even more. Were you a, a fan of the Final Fantasy VII Remake? Well, the Final Fantasy VII Remake was the best-selling game of April. That's probably not a surprise to anyone. It did release then. But um, did you know that it also is the best launch of a Final Fantasy game in franchise history, exceeding the record originally set by Final Fantasy XV during a holiday launch in 2016? So, yes, this is literally the most popular Final Fantasy has ever been right now. Um, news is also really great for Call of Duty and Activision. Uh, Modern Warfare, their most recent Call of Duty release, uh, is the, currently the fourth fastest selling game in U.S. tracked history over the first seven months on the market. That is insane, uh, and kudos to them. 
Now, next up, we're going to glance at the top 20 uh, software chart uh, just to kind of see uh, what's been selling. We don't have any um, exact figures, of course, like we can get from, uh, you know, Famitsu and all that stuff in Japan. Uh, but obviously, we see uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake at the top. Uh, after that, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. No surprise. Again, we just heard about those two games. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, we finally get to talk about that a little bit. That is uh, at number three. It did fall from number one. Uh, but remember, it's only on a single platform, uh, just like Final Fantasy is. So it is still see it holding strong there in the top three uh, is good news for Nintendo. We all know that game is just selling gangbusters. Nintendo just gave us uh, recent sales on that. Uh, NBA 2K20 is sitting there in uh, the number four, uh, number four, uh, four spot up from the fifth spot the prior month. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 makes a jump as well up into the top five. Again, Grand Theft Auto 5, just a little engine that could. It just keeps selling. Uh, was at number eight last month. Uh, Resident Evil 3 uh, you know, is at uh, number six, dropping from number four. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remastered so you know remastered version uh jumped up to number seven when it was number 20 before mlb the show uh 20 is at eight um it was at three uh last month uh madden nfl has jumped up to number nine when it was at 16 uh red dead redemption 2 is now back in the top 10 after being uh, at number 12 the month prior just dance 2020 uh is up to number 11 and what's notable about uh just dance 2020 it, it is now the best selling just dance game uh i believe since 2014 uh so it is the most successful uh game they've seen in fact i believe on the nintendo switch charts it's actually jumped into the top three in sales uh for the month so pretty crazy uh kudos to to the ubisoft for keeping that franchise going and it's just continuing to find some you know success year after year uh fifa 20 is at number 12 after being number 13 mortal Kombat jumping to 13 after it was at number 19 borderlands 3 dropped down to 14 when it was back when it was in the top 10 uh predator hunting grounds a brand new game launched by sony uh debuted it at number 15 mario kart 8 deluxe is at number 16 it was at the top 10 uh the month prior so a drop for that star wars uh jedi fallen order jumped up one spot to number 17 uh persona 5 Ro Royale dropped out of the top 10, but is still in the top 20 at number 18. Need for Speed Heat is at number 19, and a, a game previously not in the top 20. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is back up at number 20. So what I find most interesting about all of this is just the insane sales that we're talking about here for the entire video game industry. This has been a killer month and really a killer year. Hardware in general is up 163% across the board. That doesn't just include Switch. That's PlayStation 4. That's Xbox their sales are up as well and it's not surprising when you see the demand at the level it is you know i go to my local stores and everything is sold out right now it's it, you can't even find refurbished units in my area it's insane like refurbished og playstation 4s there's millions of them out there right can't find one in my area maybe you can in yours but it, it's a little um insane to me to see the demand for video games rising is it is it uh unexpected i would say no um, when there's an epidemic or in this case a pandemic and people are stuck at home, uh, obviously video games are going to see a spike in sales. It's going to benefit the video game industry because people have more time to game and thus they need to get more gaming stuff that, than they otherwise maybe want. Uh, so that's not a surprise. And what's interesting is seeing that Switch is leading the charge, even though people are at home and don't necessarily need to game on the go. It is the Switch that is at the top of everything and setting all of these insane records, these sales records, like nothing is sold better than the switch in the first four months of the year in the history of video games in the united states like it's insane to me to think that literally nothing nintendo or any other company has done before is more successful than switch is right now in the last four months i i don't know how to even fathom that and then final fantasy dominating and being uh the best-selling final fantasy ever and it's a remake of well i mean arguably one of the greatest games of all time so maybe we shouldn't be surprised i am just blown away at this sales data uh and honestly um despite this being a year with a lot of game delays and everything it's going to end up being one of the better selling years that we've ever seen and presuming that we end up with a round two of uh this pandemic which it certainly seems like a round two is highly plausible even though there's a lot of political snafu over whether or not we shut the country down again which again is up to individual states anyways um 
it looks like the launch of PlayStation 5 and the launch of uh, the Xbox Series X might see a benefit from this as well at that given time because uh, if there's round two and we're sent home again, like people are going to want to buy those new systems and enjoy those new games. Uh, hopefully Nintendo has another big game for holiday launch because Nintendo is set up very well for this year and they might have one of the cheapest, you know, current platforms once holidays come around so i'm really excited uh to see what the total sales are going to end up being for the year once we get to the mpd report in january of 2021 and uh, matt piscatella will uh recap sales from the whole year it's going to be insane and i can't wait like man i love sales data i'm kind of like a sales data junkie it's why i cover the famitsu charts so often it's why i like talking about the mpd it's why we cover nintendo's uh investor briefings and we'll cover other companies investor briefings too if there's, if there's some notable stuff happening like when we did when uh playstation 4 was uh, on, on pace to be like you know their second best selling uh platform of all time behind uh playstation 2 so anyways uh thank you guys so much for tuning in you guys are amazing uh, and awesome and i can't wait to see the sales data continue to just soar the rest of this year i can't wait to see what nintendo might have up their sleeves i mean when you're looking at sales data like this is there any doubt that paper mario game coming out on july 17th is not going to be the best selling paper mario game of all time I mean, come on. Is, is that, like, I can already tell you that's going to happen before we even get there. And this doesn't even get into like, Ghost of Shishima and, and other major games coming out from other platforms that we're also going to do perform well, like Halo Infinite. You know, like These games are going to explode this year uh, because even though some of us are now getting trying to get back to normal lives and some states are opening back up, um, I don't know that normal is really a thing we're going to be seeing for a year or two. I think a lot of us are still going to have way more free time than we've ever had. So... You guys let me know what you think about the sales data down in the comments below. Are you as excited like and as like jazz? Like my veins are kind of like pulsating right now because I'm so excited over this stuff. Like it's such a weird thing to be excited over. A bunch of companies making millions and billions of dollars as I sit here uh, without any of that money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I love sales data. I've always been a numbers guy. So uh, maybe that means I should be an accountant. I never thought about that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you subscribe and you want to see a hell of a lot more of it. Catch you guys in the next one.